Heeltech Electronics presents iLogger Easy Advanced Telemetry and Data Acquisition System Chapter 4 Setup After successful installation, a thorough configuration is necessary. To configure your iLogger, tap the Setup button on the main menu. Let's see the general channel setup options. First, select the channel you wish to configure from the channel drop-down menu. Add a unique name to it. This is how it's going to be displayed in the analyzer later. Set the sample rate of the channel. The sample rate determines how many samples are being captured per second. Tick the checkbox if you wish to record the given channel. Adjustments made in the app must be manually stored by tapping the Update Module button. Otherwise, your settings won't be stored. RPM-specific sensor settings. Choose the type of sensor from which you are getting the engine speed. It could be either ignition coil or crank sensor. Set the sensor pulse per crankshaft revolution. If you are using the crank position sensor, you have to set the timing rotor's tooth count. You can add a noise filter to the given channel. We recommend using it in most cases. Let's see the speed sensor setup. The iLogger supports three kinds of speed sensors. Please see the user manual in order to configure the speed sensor properly. The sensor location refers to the physical placement of the sensor. Set how much impulse the sensor gives per a revolution. If the sensor is located in the gearbox, you have to set the front and rear sprocket tooth count. Don't forget to update these values when you opt for different sprockets. Measure the tire circumference, where the sensor is located. Always measure at the center of the tire, and as accurately as possible. Set the speed unit you wish to use. It could be either mile per hour or kilometer per hour. Add a noise filter to eliminate unwanted spikes from the captured data. Analog Channel Basic Settings First, set the type of signal that is being recorded on the channel. The Discharge Before Sampling option applies only to sensors that leave the wire floating. TPS Sensor Setup In order to calibrate the throttle position sensor, add the lowest and highest voltage levels of the sensor. Gear Position Sensor Setup To capture the actual gear position, set the gear position sensor voltage for each of the gears. Switch Sensor Setup To add a switch sensor to any of the analog input channels, choose Switch from the Information drop-down menu. Set Active Low or Active High according to the switch characteristics. If you're unsure which value to choose, refer to the user manual of the switch. The threshold value here refers to the voltage level of the switch between the low and high settings. Set the closest possible value in the middle. Pressure, Temperature, Linear Motion Sensor Setup To add a pressure sensor to any of the analog input channels, choose the pressure value from the information drop-down menu. Set the pressure unit first. After it, add at least two reference points of the connected sensor. The analyzer will compute the data in between. When adding a temperature or linear motion sensor, add at least two reference points of the connected sensor. Out Channel Configuration 
From the information drop-down menu, set the trigger, when should the output channel be activated. Leave the brightness control slider at maximum, if you are using the output channel as a simple switch. If you are using the iLogger specific LED on the output, its brightness can be adjusted here. For more information, please visit our website.